Today's Mystery Monday takes us all the way to Buckeye, Arizona. Daniel Robinson is a 24-year-old young man who's a native to Columbia, South Carolina. He graduated from the College of Charleston in 2018 with a geology major. Upon graduating, Daniel landed a career as a geologist and moved to Phoenix, Arizona, where he oversaw many sites located in remote desert locations. He often worked in extreme conditions and traveled long distances to work on projects. The morning of June 23, 2021 was just another day of work for Daniel. However, on that day, he was last seen driving away from his work site 15 minutes after arriving near Sun Valley Parkway in Buckeye. According to his coworkers, Daniel was behaving oddly before he left the site. He was reported missing later that evening, and nobody has seen or heard from him since. It took the police 72 hours to file a missing persons report. According to his friends and family, he did not tell anyone where he was going despite the fact that he always communicated with his family about his travel plans. Soon after, the Buckeye police began searching the area where Daniel was last seen. They stated they used utility vehicles, cadaver dogs, a helicopter, and a drone to search over 70 square miles, but nothing would turn up regarding his whereabouts. Investigators also happened to establish a ping on his phone, but could not geolocate it, and his financial records provided nothing. That was until July 19th. A month after Daniel was reported missing, his blue 2017 Jeep Renegade was found by a rancher in a ravine about four miles from where he was last seen. Oddly, his cell phone, wallet, keys, and clothes were all found in the car, but Daniel was not. The vehicle was found on its side, the airbags were deployed, and the body of the car had significant damage. Investigators do not suspect foul play, However, Daniel's father believes otherwise. Daniel's father, David Robinson, stated that since mid-July, or basically up until this point, the Buckeye Police Department stopped putting in the necessary effort to find his son. The police department's response to the rancher finding Daniel's vehicle instead of the police was, because of the rough terrain, the vehicle was not clearly visible to crews searching by air or on foot. David then hired his own private investigator, Jeff McGrath, to help with the case. McGrath concluded that he does not believe Daniel was even in the car when it flipped over. He found that the vehicle had 11 additional miles and 46 additional ignition cycles on it after the airbags deployed. They had also found one of Daniel's socks three miles away and paint on the car that could not have been attributed to the ravine where the car was found. On July 31st, police found a human skull near the site of the crash, but DNA tests revealed it did not belong to Daniel. On November 6th, more human remains were found on the search, but they were again not of Daniel Robinson's. Daniel's father, David, who was an army veteran, has traveled and stayed in Arizona for months to search different parts of Buckeye every weekend in hopes of finding his son and has voiced that he will not leave until he does. January 8th coming up in five days will mark the 20th weekly search for Daniel put together by his family. David has also launched a website and a Twitter page linked below to help streamline the process. When 22-year-old Gabby Petito was reported missing in September of 2021, David Robinson said he immediately sympathized with the Petito family as his son was around the same age as her and he could resonate with the similar nightmare that her parents were going through. He believes that the handling of the Petito case should be a template for how missing person cases should be handled in the country. However, since June, Daniel's parents cannot help but feel alone 
and face the reality that their son did not and still does not receive the same urgency. He said, I've been out here for three months and had to start from scratch. I didn't know nobody. I had to put a search together that became more technical, have a website, two websites trying to put things out, trying to get some attention, just trying to get Buckeye to do more than what they were doing. It kind of dawned on me later that race does play a part. When you're black, you have to work twice as hard for everything. That's what's happening here. I had to work twice as hard to get media attention. This case highlights the disparity and wide disregard for media coverage and police urgency for black, indigenous, and people of color. Daniel Robinson is a young man with loved ones and friends who lose sleep and endure a type of pain nobody could ever imagine while wondering where he went or what happened to him. Although the Petito family certainly deserved answers and justice, Daniel is one of many missing POC persons reported that deserve a frenzied search and a rise to public consciousness too. The Robinson family has offered a $10,000 reward for anyone with information that leads to what happened or where Daniel might be. Daniel Robinson is described as five feet, eight inches tall, with black hair and brown eyes, and does not have a right forearm or hand. David has been trying to involve the FBI since July, but has not reached any luck. If you might know of any leads on this case, please contact the Buckeye Police Department's number below. You can also visit the website pleasehelpfinddaniel.com to stay updated on the case and receive David Robinson's contact information. Lastly, if you're in the area and willing to help search, sign up below and sign the petition in justice for Daniel. Sending massive prayers to the Robinsons and thank you all for watching.